All right, we're here. It's your girl Philomena, and I'm here with another special guest for Real Talk with Philomena, an old friend of mine, another interview that should have been done many, many moons ago, but we met many years ago, and this young man is doing some amazing things. Abraham Freeman, go ahead, introduce yourself to the people, let them know who you are, what you do, let them know. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. My name is Abraham L. B. Freeman. Uh, I am a um, SDG champion. Uh, okay, I'm a sustainable development goal champion. I'm a um, Atlanta fellow for health and equity, and uh, I'm an environmentalist, and a founder of a community-based waste management organization that recycles plastic waste into various materials. And that's how we met. Yeah, that's how we met. I yeah. was visiting the Hydro at Mount Coffee, and that's where you're based yeah. out of. Yeah. Um, on a separate project and I ran into him and he showed me um, these products that he makes from from the plastic waste and as we know I think we all know Liberia has a waste problem but yeah. a plastic problem uh, it's a huge problem uh, in Liberia anywhere you go even when you're going out to the rural counties you see plastic waste and this is a problem that's all over the world you know we have the plastic waste issue in the oceans uh, all over. So, what what started you in this? Well, when did you decide that you were going to take this problem and make it into a solution? Yeah. So, um, as as an environmentalist, uh, I learned and I know that plastic is not good for the environment. It, uh, when plastic stays on the ground and the chemical seeps into the ground, it pollutes the groundwater resources. Uh, it also kills marine species and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So um, I was uh, working at Hydro, where I still work by the way, and uh, I used to commute every morning go to the Hydro and come back to Monrovia. But then as you go up, you will we'll be passing mountains of plastic, and right. as you commute every day, the mountain gets bigger. And so um, a friend and I, we uh, decided to do something about it. You know, the real Liberian way is just to uh, Complain, complain, complain. And never doing it. And uh, <laughs> we wanted to do it a different way and we decided to put a side portion of our monthly income wow. and work with communities, uh, especially underserved community youth and women, to teach skills that turn plastic into something that they can use. And it's a win win situation. It, it improved the uh, economy and then it also uh, cleaned the environment. Well, I just want to stop here and say, all of you because you know I get a lot of flack sometimes on my page um, but there's a small percentage of Liberians that are actually about action so the fact that you decided to take a portion of your own money to to tackle this problem and speak volumes and I commend you amazing amazing initiative um, Wow, I'm so in shock with that because you know there's a lot of people and there's a lot of people who talk about the waste management problem currently in our country, mm -hmm. and you could probably still see them throwing plastic bags out of the window or throwing their trash out. Okay, so so you started there. Um, when did you um, when did you decide to make it fun and fashionable? Because then I, can I, should I show the people now? Mm -hmm. So after I met him, you know, I met him. He told me about it. He showed me some of the products. Can I, I'm going to show you guys one of the products. Okay. And you know, we have rainy season six months out of the year. So this is... Yeah. This is like almost 300 single-use plastics right here. 300 single-use. You're going to hear a lot of squishing around. But 300 single-use plastic you need to... Uh, for this for this raincoat yeah. um, and this was fun this was um, something that you said got a lot of traction on your page got a lot of traction on my page uh, I mean it's fun sustainable fashion for sure yeah. but it, it, it's taking the, the the problem and creating a solution yeah. so when did you decide to start doing this this part of it? yeah so uh, first I just want to use this uh, forum to just appreciate people like you oh, you. you know who also support all of Liberians and find a solution to all Liberia's problem. And I'm a strong believer that only Liberians can fix Liberia. You know? You've heard me say that on my on yeah. my show, so yeah. you hear it here first. Yeah, so um, we actually started out uh, with an experiment.
to turn the plastic into bricks. Uh, this one's right now, here. Now this is the slow shocky thing. Yeah, ever like uh, this uh, plastic, the sachet water plastic, you know, in the streets. Um, let, me, and, let me hold this thing. Yeah. Okay, so explain this now. This yeah. is plastic yeah. mixed with what? With sand. With sand. Yeah. Sand. And if you got, this is a heavy brick. It's like brick, yeah, it's a brick. And this can be used to build houses. Yeah. This can be used to build whatever. Yeah. And this is single use plastic yeah. and brick. And look at it. Yeah. You can knock somebody out yeah. with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, we started to check the internet and one thing I always say is that, is that um, we have uh, a resource and that resource is the internet. It's free. Very free. <laughs> you know, it's a serious resource and sometimes uh, we just look at the naked side of the internet. So with searches on the internet, uh, with search on the internet, we're able to uh, see other people doing this. Also. And you know what, what? It's funny because when I met you, mm. you told me about this, and I had seen a um, special mm. uh, on, I think, either BBC or CNN Africa of a young woman in Kenya, in Kenya. who yeah. is doing low income housing oh, yes. with these bricks. Yeah, she is. And, uh, and it's something that we hope that you can do. That's what And someone trying. will see Definitely. this um, and, and want to invest in this. This is. This is you know, people ask me all the time, mm. what can I invest in my area? Mm. Uh, and this is something that I think that tackles more than one problem. Yeah. You're cleaning up the, the, the country and yeah. the cities, yeah. but you're also uh, getting, and, and, and is, is this, a, is this um, hard or uh, expensive to, to, to make? No, uh, not really. Uh, so uh, there are these machines uh, made in China okay. and India and other places that you can actually use so uh, it's not really difficult right. it's just to have something that melts the plastic mm -hmm. and you just add sand and you put it in the mold mm -hmm. so if you want to create any bricks any form any shape for the yard this this, this is amazing yeah. so there, there you go so some of you who are wanting to do real estate yeah. you can clean the country yeah. and find low cost yeah. building materials yeah, yeah. 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 so uh, I went to Ghana and I and I met uh, and I visited this guy because I've earlier reached to him and usually I'm always on the internet following people, yeah. providing solutions, especially in my area of interest. So when I went to Ghana, I reached out and I was amazed. This guy built a house, I mean a house wow. with all plastics. Wow. Yeah, and he really inspired me and uh, that's what we look forward to because this actually, with the bricks, it removes a lot of plastic. Mm -hmm. And with the bricks, it actually turn the plastic into something different. Right. It's no longer plastic. It's no longer plastic. Yeah, yeah. You can, I, I mean, you would look at this and not think there's... As compared plastic. to other products like this, mm -hmm. right. eventually you still have to get rid of it. Yeah. But while we wait for the advanced solution, we can sit and keep complaining. Exactly. So that's why so we you're finding solutions in, in the bit, meantime. Yeah, yes. In a bit, every time. What can I do? How can we do it? Wow. Yeah. So are you at a point where you, you can produce this for customers? Uh, if, if they wanted to come to you, they you produce this here in Liberia, with the bricks. Yeah, so with the bricks, um, the, metal, the metal we were using to, um, to, to produce it without the machines was now really environmentally sound. Okay. So that's why we put a pause to it, but that's the dream. Okay. But not because we put a pause to it, we should say that. Right. So we decided to innovate, come up with the ring code, come up with the bike bags. You okay. Know. Yeah. And we'll see those bags in a minute. So, but going back to this, so the, yeah. the, the metal you were using, so so the, is the issue now finding it the, 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 the method that it will be environmentally sound? Resources. 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 Yeah. Resources. Yeah. So we hope that... The metal that, is already there. Okay. And it is proven right here, Ghana. Okay. And every other place. So it's just a matter of resources, resources. funding to get that. Definitely. So yeah. I hope someone out there is seeing this. Someone mm. with lots of money. <laughs> And wants to and wants to invest, but you know these. Are, this is how we get the word out. You know yeah. that we have someone doing this right here in Liberia. And also, I want to know, you are in Liberia. Do you all you you go out and collect the waste too, yeah. right? The the plastic waste. Yeah. So, um, why are the hydro? You know, a lot of job seekers are doing the rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. uh, came from all over Liberia, and they went to uh, establish in such a job and market and other stuff. So uh, the Population increase actually overwhelmed the traditional community leadership right. setup. 
And uh, usually with this kind of a population increase come with social problems. Right. And one of them was uh, uh, plastic or waste management in general. And then the reason uh, plastic is urgent is that it doesn't go away for right. hundreds of thousands of years. Of years. Yeah. And so um, what we started to do is that uh, we started working with, uh, because the community people started taking their waste and dumping it in the support. Oh, oh, right. wow. And the simple is so important for Liberia. Yes. We have our own hydropower plant. We also have our municipal water supply for the country right there. You know, so the pollution was increasing. That's how uh, my colleague and I we decided to work with the community leader and the women in the community to actually take their waste and turn it into something. So right now, uh, plastic is not just waste again in that community. Um, but then it, it is now a tool for uh, social, uh, social change, benefit, yeah, change yeah, in, in environmental sustainability. Amazing. So you're you're tackling so many problems with yeah. with, with just one simple concept. Yeah. And, and let me just tell you, uh, we were doing some maintenance on the machine at the at the powerhouse, and we actually saw plastic stuck in it. Okay. So if this uh, would have continued. Eventually, uh, the, the plastic would enter the equipment at the power house and wow. across the hydro. Right. It's, it's the highest. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that, that we, we actually see it as something that uh, if it is supported, not just in my profit, but all over my area, right. it can really... And, and, and did I hear, did I read that we're get, we might be getting a new hydro Definitely in Ball, is it Ball County, correct? Or, yeah. Or but, they haven't... They haven't gotten that far yet. Okay. Yeah. But we're getting a new hydro. Yeah, yeah, sure. Which will alleviate a lot of yeah, your yeah. issues. I know before you guys Hopefully. start saying LEC and all these <laughs> things here, leave I stay out of my comments. Uh, um, but yeah this is this is that is a very important point. Definitely, definitely. Well um, there's so much that you're doing and we're so proud of you. And I just want to let you all know we are going to do a follow-up episode mm. from this interview, and we're going to go visit Abraham at Mount Coffee, coming very soon to see how these bricks are developed. Mm. I know I'm so excited. How many times have I asked you, can I come do this? A lot of times. A time. lot of times. Time. And we appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. So I want, I want to get my hands dirty. Yeah. I want to, you know, I want to make a brick. I want to make a brick. Excellent. Okay, so we're Excellent. going to make a brick. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> but in the meantime, um, I want to show the people some of the other other products that we have here. So show them the, the backpacks. Okay, so this is a back, backpack uh, made from just uh, plastics and fabric. So as you can see right in here, plastic are all here. So this is like 100 pieces of plastic. This is rainproof, your computer, especially during the rainy season. Wow. Your computer, your computer everything is rainproof. Safe, rainproof. And it has Beautiful. padding, you can put your laptop in here, yeah, it's plastic, covered. Laptop and everything. So, wow, uh, and you use Lapa. Yeah, yeah African Lapa. African Lapa. And, and the good thing is, we bought a grant, a uh, very minimal grant from the US in Marseille. Yeah, thank uh, appreciation to them. And with that resources, we're able to train women in that community, tailoring skills. Wow. And the women are the ones producing these beds. Wow. And then uh, about 75% of the income from this bed go to them. That's how we do it. I mean, you are just, he's a, he's a shining star. And you know, we're actually, we're seeing an, uh, I've seen an Africa <laughs> inside you. alumni. Yeah, so sure. I'll definitely share with viewers. We'll, we'll add a piece about right here. Yeah. Okay, are you guys back now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So um, you are really doing, I mean, your, your social impact is, is extensive and we appreciate it. Um, and I know that this is just, I mean, I just met you a few years ago, but I can see you having such um, a large impact on Liberia and its environment. Um, and I, I'm so happy to, to know you and to support you and be your friend. Uh, and I can't wait to see all that you do, but we are going to leave um, all of the information to get in touch with them. You're going to follow his his personal pages, his business pages, order, and they can order. Can yeah, order sure, these, sure. these and other products from the pages, yes, right? Yes, uh, right now you just send a, a message and we can drop it off uh, wherever you are in okay. Maputo. Uh -huh. uh, if you are outside Liberia and diaspora, you can also um, have a uh, a female that was a uh, volunteer with us, okay. but she's in the States now with her masters. Okay. So she also has some of the products. Okay, so th th there's no object to, yeah. to getting this, okay? Yeah. Just make your inquiry yeah. and we can get it to you. Support this amazing young Liberian brother. 
Um, and also, we'll leave information for people to contact you um, to get um, inquiries, donations, yeah. whatever it may be. Contact him. Let's support this young brother. And not this is not even a, a personal thing where it's like you're just supporting him and his business. You're supporting Liberia. Sure. You are leading Liberia. Sure. You are. Um, and hopefully, uh, we'll see more of you. I, we'll definitely see more of you on my page. Yeah. Like I said, we have a follow-up episode. We just came up with the idea, yeah. making a break with Khalifa yeah. and Abraham. Um, yeah. And we'll get to show them the hydro as sure. well. I think that was fun. Um, so any last words you want to leave to the audience? Yes. Uh, and this, I will really speak Kuluqua. <laughs> I will look in our the brother and sister faces, uh, Liberians. Please be like Philomena and other Liberians. Let us support each other. And um, nobody will face this country, only Liberians. So let us come together and work together and support each other and make a difference. The other countries we go to for vacation and other places, they are no different for Liberians. And let us make Liberia what it ought to be for not just us, but the next generation. Beautifully said. Thank you so much for coming and sitting with me today. And you all look out for our next episode. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Yeah.